Hello everybody and welcome to our FM22 series. We are managing Blythe Spartans. We look to take them from the lowest playable league in England, the Vanarama National League North. Rise up the tables, reach the Premier League, work our way into Europe and win some titles along the way. Super excited about this series. This is the first time I have ever managed Blythe. Obviously, they have a great name and a great logo. Let's go ahead and get this underway. We're going to go ahead and take a quick overview of the team. As I said, they are in Vanarama National League North. Media prediction for the season at 18th. So we're picking a team that isn't projected to be one of the top teams. But we're going to look to change that. This is an old team, founded all the way back in 1899. Fierce rivals of Gateshead. We have won a couple of trophies already in our club history. Not going to be anything super special, but you can see that we have 13 trophies in the cabinet. And we're going to look to build on that, add some more trophies Facilities, we play at Croft Park, built all the way back in 1909, a capacity of 4,435, and the other facilities are what you would expect at this level, all very basic. Finances, we are in okay status at the moment. We have 3k to work with, and a wage budget of 478,000 per year. We'll have to take a closer look at that after we see how much we're spending on players at the moment. There's the best 11 that uh, FM is putting out there right now. We're going to take a closer look at the team here in a moment where we can actually see some ratings and all that good stuff. But here is our club vision. Club culture, they want us to play a high tempo pressing football style. We should be able to do that. Goals for this season... They don't want us to get relegated. And yeah, that is a bare minimum. If we get relegated, we get fired. We get we get the sack. And that would mean a series over. And we don't want to see that happen. FA Cup reached the fourth qualifying round. FA Trophy reached the first round. And then yet, yeah, after the season, we're only on a one-year contract. So, gotta meet our requirements or we will be looking for a new club. Okay, this is the team we are working with at the moment. And it is a very light squad by the looks of it. If we go over here to squad depth, uh, we got we do got some quality. Um, most of our starting positions are rated at 4 star, but the depth is a bit concerning. Uh, and I can see that on our right side, we do need to improve that for sure. Uh, finances, let's see what we are actually working with. Wage budget-wise, we have about 30000 to work with. So we'll definitely be able to add some players before the start of the season. Of course, we are in non-league, so players can join and leave pretty much the entire season. And we're able to add players on non-contracts. So we got plenty of money to work with. Our overall balance is only at 49000 and that number is going to rapidly decrease throughout the season. So hopefully we can get a couple of cup wins to help offset some of the losses that were going to occur throughout the season. Next, um, let's take a look at our staff, see what we are working with here. We have an assistant manager in Mickey Barron who doesn't look terrible. His contract is up at the end of the season. So we got options there that we can uh, keep him or, or move on. Have a head of youth development, Keith Wisson. Um, not, not the best, but I mean, at this level, this is what we're going to work with. Have a goalkeeping coach, Ian Atkin. Uh, again, your average your average coach down at this level. We have a head physio who 
is not bad. 16 for physio. So not bad at all on a two-year contract. And then our uh, normal physio, a little bit lower. 10 physio contract ends at the end of the season. He will likely uh, be replaced and get an upgrade. I think we'll be able to find someone that has a bit more than 10. But that that is what we are working with staff-wise. We are also a semi-pro team. If you go over here to general, semi-pro, so we can't get anyone on full contracts. But yeah, that is what we are working with. Let me get stuck in here a little bit, see if I can... Uh, Add some staff, add some players, and then I'll bring you back. We have a friendly, an inter-squad friendly tomorrow. We're going to play through that, and that'll be the end of the first episode. Don't want to get too in-depth here on this first episode. It'll be interesting to see what kind of team we can put together, because like I said, we don't have a lot of players here at the club, and we also don't have any players in our under-18 squad. These are all gray players, so they're not actually real. Alright, we got our squad out here about to do the enter squad friendly. Let's get this underway. I got some players in on trial. They're going to be playing on the under 18 team. We also have some of them on our bench because we didn't have enough players to fill out the full bench. Oh, we need to fix this real quick. But yeah, I got some players in on trial. We'll see if they're any good. A couple of them look like they're going to be some good prospects. So if any of them look like they will make our squad better, we will sign them up. We also have some uh, contracts out to potential staff members as well. We have an opportunity for the first goal. Oh, there was no one on the end. Of that very spicy ball across the box. But yeah, looking at the squad, we got a couple of older players with some experience. We got a goal right here, JJ O'Donnell, with the tap and off of the rebound. But yeah, we got a nice mix of uh, older, experienced players and some younger ones. So I actually think we, we have an opportunity here. Oh, we hit the post. I think we have an opportunity here to add a couple of players and I think we'll be all right this season. Got plenty of money to work with. So I'm actually excited about our opportunities. We are a bit thin at center back. Two center backs are, I believe are, are a little bit older. Not the most mobile of center backs either. Oh. What a shot that was off the crossbar from distance. We also have our, our starting left-sided inside forward is a 37 years old. And he actually has a knock right now, so we're going to sub him off. Robbie Dale is his name. You'll, we'll just take a quick look at him. 37 years old. He is a bit of a legend around here. 585 appearances for the club, bagging 192 goals. Robbie Dale, a Spartans legend, but he's going to get subbed off here. We're going to bring on, who is it? I believe Corey McCohen. Yes, Corey McCohen is going to come on for him. But yeah, we have a, a couple of players that have experience, not quite as much as, as Robbie but I'm excited that we could have a decent little season here. I don't think we're going to be be relegated. Um, I'm, I'm also using pretty much the same tactic that I used in our, our beta series. Ooh. Oh, how do you miss that? <laughs> off the crossbar and then Thompson off the post. Thankfully, Dan McGuire is there to clean it up. But yeah, back to the tactic. I, I'm pretty much using... The same tactic that I used with Ajax. So it'll be interesting to see how that plays out here in non-league with with the Spartans. But so far, it's, it's doing pretty good so far.
Backing in our third goal here. Not even half time yet. Do have a corner or two to defend here. Thompson much better at defending that than uh, scoring that goal a few moments ago. But uh, the reserve team here looking to get back in the game. But it is cut out and we are looking to build up play here once again. Deverdix, uh, the midfielder, also another experienced player. Yeah, I'm definitely thinking this team is, is not going to be, be down in the relegation zone. That was a great ball in by our substitute, Corey McCohen. And this time, Thompson is there to put it away. But yeah, this is all very promising stuff. Of course, this is uh, a very weak team that we are playing against right now. It's not even a full team of trialists. There are some great players in there, which are those pretty much generated players for the reserve team. But I am liking what I'm seeing here in the first half. Whoa, what a goal that was by Connor Thompson. Wow, from out of nowhere, he's just going to have a shot in off the underside of the crossbar. What a strike that was. Absolutely dominating here in this in this friendly And of course, I don't want to overstate this. We should be winning this game easily. If we weren't, we would have some serious problems. And, I, and we'd have to seriously uh, be worried about our season. But this is exactly what you would expect here in a game against this opponent. 5-0. We should be going into halftime like that. That is lovely to see. So, yeah, I think I've said pretty much all I need to say about this game at the moment. So, I, I don't think we need to sit here and waste our time and, and, and show the second half of this game. And I think that's pretty much all we really need to go over here for this first episode. So, what the plan is, I'm going to go through preseason. And then, when we come back for our next episode... We'll have a lot to go over. There's going to be so many new players at the club. And then at that point in time, we'll kind of go over our first 11. Take a, a closer look at the players. Meet the squad a bit more in depth at that time. Because if we were to do it now, we would just have to do it all over again. But I am super excited about the potential of this series. I hope you guys are as well. A completely different... Um, challenge and experience than, than our beta series with Ajax. So I hope you guys will stick around on our journey as we work our way up the English pyramid. So if you are excited, make sure you drop a like on this video down below. And if you are new around here, go ahead and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you don't miss out on future videos coming to the channel. And until next time, it's been your Boyd147.